Hello everyone. Well, I guess uh, we are now ready for starting. Uh, well, uh, thank you very much for attending this webinar. My name is David Garcia. I am the Search Product Manager. And today uh, we are going to talk about uh, one of our star add-ons for Jira profiles and uh, another great add-on that is on the top 10 of uh, Jira add-ons is VI. Uh, why uh, talking about both of them? Well, it's because uh, recently, like three months ago, uh, after working with the uh, ECBI team, that uh, they are awesome, uh, we worked uh, to have an integration between both add-ons. So uh, I will talk a bit about each of them uh, to review a bit their functionality, and then uh, talking about how you can get profiles information, project info information into ECBI to get great reports. Uh, this is not a webinar about how to become a, man's, a master in profiles, neither in ECBI. So I will talk just the basics of each of them and uh, to go deep into the integration. I mean, how to get data from profiles into ECBI. Okay. So let's get started. Uh, this is everything about reports. So uh, who doesn't need reports? We, we all love them. And uh, we like to have uh, as many charts, simple and fast as possible. So we can take better decisions or uh, to have uh, more information in hand. Uh, so that's why we are so excited and we are so proud of this collaboration with CBI. For us, uh, the profile is great. I mean, it, it has a lot of features. It handles the information of your projects in Jira, uh, allows you to create custom fields for projects. But once you need to get reports, once you need, once you need to get uh, tables and charts of this project information, you got the gadgets in profiles, but uh, they are not enough. That's why we think the collaboration with ECBI, uh, it's it's very powerful. Let's talk just a bit about profiles. Uh, for those that you don't know, profiles is an add-on that allows you to empower the project, uh, the project fields in Jira. Allows you to create more information for the project because in Jira is is not possible. You can just have uh, two or or three fields for your project. So with profiles, you can create as many projects fields as you like and filter through them, uh, working with them, uh, organize them. Uh, for example, you can say which of my projects are open or which of my projects have a due date before next week. That's uh, what makes uh, profiles powerful. So the main features of profiles are that you can create custom fields for projects in Jira. You can create calculated fields. So uh, take all the values from one issue field and uh, uh, show you the results. You got the project navigator and gadgets for filter and, and search through your projects. And if you want to connect with other uh, third party software, you can use the REST and Java API. Actually, this is why we are using and we have the integration with ECBI. So what about the ECBI? Uh, ECBI is one of the most sold add-ons in the marketplace. It's it's an awesome add-on. We we always uh, recommend to to use it. And with ECBI, you, you can have uh, extremely powerful reports, charts, and all the information uh, perfectly well structured uh, in Jira. The information that you got in Jira. It allows you to have a easy drag and drop report, uh, really powerful calculations. I mean, they are really, really fast and uh, a lot of variety of chart types. So for those that you don't know, or you haven't worked with CBI yet, I totally recommend you to use it. So let's, uh, let's show you how uh, you can work and you can go deep between the integration with profiles and CBI. Okay, have it here. Yeah. So this is a this is an environment that I have uh, with my 
profiles. Uh, well, one thing to to know is that because some of you has already asked so much, like what do I need? What do I need to configure? Uh, when it, what do I need to do? Do I need a special license to connect with, uh, profiles and CBI? Uh, well, the answer is so simple. You don't need anything. You just need to have installed under the same Jira instance, profiles, and CBI. That's all. The rest will be almost out, out automatic. I'll show you why and how. Well, this is my Jira and Let's see that I have some projects here with already profiled, profiles configured. Yeah, this is my business project. And inside add-ons, project fields, I have the project fields that uh, will use this project, like the scope, start date, product owner, status, effort invested, the cost, original estimate effort, and so on. And uh, many other projects also have their, their profiles inf information, like the scope, start date, product owner, status, and so on, so on. Let's see how many project fields I do have. Let's go to add-ons. Yep. I'm an admin. Fields, profiles, yeah, fields manager. So these are all the project fields that I have. Okay, and I have information through them. So now that I have information in my projects, I have everything there, is everything organized, I can search in the project navigator, I have everything. So I say I also have ECBI, so it would be fantastic to to uh, to create reports with them. So, okay, let's go to ECBI. It's here, yeah, ECBI. Great, so I'll start from scratch, okay, so you how to first uh, configure the source data and then to create a report and to analyze it. Let's go to Resource data, I have one already created, but I will show you every step. So once I click on config and create a new source data in ECBI, uh, it shows me all the Jira projects that I want to use. In this case, I say all. In case that uh, I don't want to work with some of them, I just need to uncheck. Okay, let's say I want to work with all of them. Uh, okay, simple reports, I can mark it or not. The status, the close status is closed. Fine, I'm in Madrid. First, of the day, first day of the week is Monday. Don't work it days, Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, this is your groups. And that's the new thing. So once you go to the custom field, ECBI will show you all the custom fields you have configured in in Jira. And at some point, you will see profiles, custom fields. These custom fields are those that you have created in profiles. So, so maybe you're asking, wow, but these custom fields are related with issues and profiles, custom fields are related with projects. Okay, that's fine. We'll configure that later. But if we want to, to get custom fields for projects, we need to mark those. Also, we can mark some of them. Actually, the Jira fields are, are already marked. So if we want to check city or epic link, so we can mark it also. Let's go get into the profiles custom fields. We see that some of them are available as a measure, as a property, only as a property, only as a measure, only as a dimension. This is because those that can be dimensions are the field type list, project, and user, the profile types. The type number and duration can be marked as a measure, as an property. 
because they are numbers and they can be calculated. And the rest can be marked as a property. Okay? Fine. I'm selecting those. I'm skipping the uh, this one because it's a script and because of performance issues. Uh, now, uh, for the demo, I, I don't want it to calculate, but it can be included. So every time prof uh, ECBI calculates the value, it will launch the script. Okay, and I say import. Okay, it's importing. Depending on how many issues or how many fields do you have, it will take time. Okay, 400 issues. Eight hundred, twelve hundred, sixteen, two thousand. Okay, now it's importing the project, the profiles values, because you know that ECBI uses its own database, so it has to import all the values into its database. Okay, it's imported. Fine, and let's go to analyze. Great, have already one created, but I will start from a report from scratch. Okay, new report. Yeah, here we are. So, as we as we see, here we have the dimensions that we see always with ECBI, but we have something new here, which is profiles. So we can see, apart from the dimensions from ECBI, the profiles three dimensions that we have marked. Profiles per product owner, status, and support projects. Those are profiles, project fields. So it's taking the custom project fields we have created in Jira with profiles, so right? In ECBI. Okay, I'm gonna take the project dimension as rows, okay, and I will mark it here the projects. So for every every row will be one project. This is what I'm saying to ECBI. So for one project, I can show I will take measures. And I will take, now they are selected, issues created, issues due, and issues resolved. Those are marked by default, by CBI. So this is telling that for this business project, I have 25 issues created, three issues due, and 24, 22 issues resolved. That's all about issues. So we are not talking about project fields yet. What if I want to select just, I don't want to know anything about issues in the project, I want to profiles information. That's here, you see? Profiles has two measures here. The cost and original estimate effort. Let's say the cost. Here we are. So we have for every project, the value of a project field. the profile cost. What if I want to see the original estimate? Okay, here we have as well. And this is just the table view. So with this information, I can show you a bar chart. So we can see for every project, I'm gonna say put it in vertical. Yeah, much better. Yeah. So. All my projects in Jira are here, and I can see very, very easily which one has more cost. This one. So just at a glance, I can get the information from profiles and see it here. Also, you can see as a line, as a pie chart, 
So those two projects are the most expensive one and so on. What if I want more fields or more information? Okay, so I will add the original estimate effort so I can see which one of my projects has more effort. Obviously, it's this one. Okay, both measures can be together. Fine. But just this, just the number one, I mean the number uh, fields. No, if we click on calculated members, we see also that we have a pro fields section here. We can click on here, so we see all the information that they have on the fields in profiles, like the status, support project, the product owner, support project owner ticket, scope, the end date, or oh, no, the end date. Start date. So everything I have, I can put it in here. So I have this information about dates right in these bar lines. So here, like that, as a pie chart. Well, this pie chart has to have so much information because I'm seeing just the estimate dates. So as you can see, now I'm mixing the projects and the project information profiles. What if I want to mix also the project fields, project information with issues, information that are in projects? Yeah, I can I can do it. Let's say now I'm seeing the status, product owner estimates, end date and start date, but I want to see also the open issues. Okay, just click on open issues. And I'm seeing that for this business project, the product owner is the SR admin, it will start the, it started the 1st of January and it has three, three open issues. So it is really powerful that we, you can mix project information and issues related with projects. So all the information can be together. And we can compare and we can uh, create the charts, all the charts and all the reports that we want. Another example of a really useful chart that we can create mixing profiles and ECBI, it's the, the Gantt chart using the estimates. If I just take, I will remove the status and the product owner and also the open issues. So I have for every project the start date and the estimated end date. So yeah, this is one view. But if I click go to Gantt, so do you see? So for every project, I see in a Gantt chart the information about it. You see the start date, start date, this one as well. Yeah. So the more projects that you have, the more complex project portfolio that you have, the more useful will be this, this view. Okay, so on the whole, this is how you can import and you can combine together profiles and CBI. Remember, you just need to have all both of them installed and then under the same Jira instance. You need to import profiles as custom fields when CBI asks you for it. And then you can mix now projects as rows, and the columns with the its its measures, but you can combine any issue information with profiles information. You can uh, add more uh, dimensions to the columns or to the rows. I mean, all the power of ECBI can be now placed together with profiles data. So. Uh, well, uh, this is this is everything, uh, and thank you very much. For
for attending this webinar. If you need help, you can contact us at our support site at jira.desert.com slash support. If you have any question and any problem or something that you need help from us, just don't hesitate to contact or by email at product at desert.com or by phone. Uh, if you have any question, uh, you can write it uh, right here. Uh, yep, I, I have one question. I don't know if I've already answered this. Jonathan asked, uh, how do profiles work with the issue view? Uh, well, I don't know if you mean the issue, the issue view in ECBI or the issue view in Jira. I get in in EC, in ECBI. I mean, with the with the issues, you get the information from the issues. I mean, uh, I've, uh, I said before, you can just take the information, the calculated or the default one. So it's just another dimension, another uh, column as as. As the same way that you are working with issues the custom field, it has the same power. Just instead of issues custom field or issue information, you are getting a project inf information, but it's exactly the same. Yep. Okay. More questions? No. Well, if Further, you have anything else to ask or uh, you need support, you can contact us at any time and we'll be really glad to help. So thank you very much for attending this webinar and have a nice day. Bye.